Hi there, it's Naomi Benwell here to do your reading for March the 23rd, that's hilarious, of um, 2014. Why I said that's hilarious is this card fell out before I even started. I, I was doing a clearing and the card Compassion, which is kind of funny, number 23, popped out on its own before I even started. So I decided to grab the camera and keep this card out with Compassion. Strength and evenness are two pillars of compassion. I have strength to give with love when I have been hurt. I have evenness to hold no attachments, jealousy, or resentment. This type of compassion opens my heart, wherein lie profound understanding and truth. With compassion, our interconnectedness is revealed. This is quite interesting because yesterday it was about talking about our feelings, sharing how we felt, and making sure that we um, wish upon a star to make the best outcome. I am doing a back-to-back -back taping of this video, and on my camera I just saw four threes in a row. To me, that's spirit in its highest form, and and there's a truth there, a major truth there. So I'm going to go in, go right into the reading. I'm keeping this card out, recognizing that is a special card for us overall the whole day that energy is coming through. But we're going to work with the, the rest of the intuitive cards and I'm going to see which card comes up. I'm going to pick still three. Um, and I'm going to close my eyes because I know the cards a little well. So let me mix them a little bit more. And here we go. So this, this is for the highest good of all. So let's see. Here's the first card. Here's the second card. Um, here's the third. Oops, two cards came with it. Two cards came with it. Wow. So let's let's go here. My finger grabbed both. You saw that. So the first card that's coming up is gratitude. How often are we hearing that this month? Gratitude. Gratitude is a circle. As gratitude arises from within my being, I feel the joy of generosity. Generosity by its very nature swells the hearts of the receiver, bringing gratitude full circle. Well, I don't know about you, but when it comes to gratitude, I'm realizing and feeling it's such a big deal. <laughs> it is. You know, when you're giving to somebody you're also receiving at the same time. You receive their smile. You receive sometimes a hug. Sometimes you receive, you know, a glowing sensation in your heart. And when you, when you are receiving on the opposite, the opposite side of, of the giving. You know, look at the person's face when they give you something and know in their heart, in your heart, that you're connected because there's a beauty there, you know, and and it's absolutely fabulous. So here's the next card. It's um, eight, which is the eighth chakra. All that my soul has ever been and will become rests gently in this moment. My soulful power is here, now. Well, this ties ma majorly into, into this. Because the only way you recognize the gift is when it occurs. And within the occurrence, that's the, that's the juicy beauty. And I'm going to go on to the next card. I'm going to flip them together. They were upside down. The first card was, um, the first card is first chakra, number one. The presence of spirit is solidly rooted in my body. I have the right to be here. And my life is abundant with love, comfort, and vitality. And the card that goes with it is joy, number 15. Joy. Joy saturates every cell of my body with love and compassion. My spiritual heart opens and my body shivers with energy and light equal to that of a million 
dazzling stars. This is my true spiritual nature. Can you imagine? See, what I love about this combo, these two cards together, is it talked about the dazzling stars and being grounded at the same time. So you can be both. You can be both grounded and in the stars of heaven and in the stars of love. And when it, it brings back into the compassion here, this actually has been quite a long reading today, but um, it's the 23rd of the day of the month, and there's about, you know, here is the compassion tying back into, you know, the gratitude and releasing, being in the moment, in the here and now. There might have been something that happened in the past, but you can let it go. It sounds so easy, but stay in the moment. Realize that even if you were hurt before by the same person that you're experiencing something with at this moment, with the moment you are in, I just repeated myself, you have a sense of peace and joy in order to to expand your life, to have that interconnect and it will be revealed so I'm ending it on this I feel like there's so much in the reading for this day I'm sending you much love and gratitude love and light kisses namaste